Alright, what is going on guys? It's Star Star back with another video today. Got two topics I want to talk to you guys about that I just saw. <laughs> and uh, some is some really good news. The other one is uh, some not so good news. A little confused about what's going on right now. I'm, I, I don't really know how to feel about it, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you guys know. So first bit of information I want to share with you guys is the CEO of NVIDIA, Jen Hang. He's been saying a lot of great things about the Switch uh, lately. They had their, their conference last week, so we're getting a lot more reports of like different interviews and different comments that he's been saying. He's been talking up the, the hardware, the form back, everything. He's just been loving it so far. He's been loving working with Nintendo. As you guys remember from a, a few videos ago, I told you guys they, they want a 20-year partnership with them. So it's looking really good. So some of the new information that he shared with us is talking about... Uh, the Switch and its capability of porting games from the PS4 and Xbox One. So this is a lot of this was a huge concern that a lot of people had. Would the Switch be able to port games um, from the other consoles to the system very easily? Because as we know with the Wii, that was really hard. With the Wii U, it was a bit easier, but still very difficult due, due to the architecture of the system. But now, if they had this uh, Tegra chip, which is used in most PCs, and it's very very similar hardware to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. We were wondering, is it, is it really going to be easier to port games over to the Switch? And based off of what he said in this comment here, it's looking like it's going to be fairly easy. It's not going to be exactly a one-to-one -one ratio or anything, but it's definitely going to be a lot simpler than, than what we had with the Wii U back in uh, 2013, 2012. So I'm just going to read a small, quick portion of what he said. And one of the factors of production value of games that have been possible... Uh, is because of the PC and the two game consoles, Xbox and PlayStation, and in the near future, the Nintendo Switch. All of these architectures are common in the sense that they are they all use modern GPUs, and they all use programmable shading, and they all have basically similar features. So what he's saying is that it's not going to be an exact one-to-one -one ratio, but they're extremely similar in in uh, in, uh, in features, and and they they program very similar ways so that's really good that's that's what we want to hear we, we're hearing so much i keep saying this guys i know but we keep hearing so much good stuff about this system we keep hearing so many great things from the people who are working on it and everyone just seems so excited and and look and and, and the stars are slowly aligning you know what i'm saying it's looking really really good but if you guys remember in my video yesterday i definitely said or it was the day before that something like that I did say that there was going to be some bad news coming out about this system that we weren't going to like, and uh, today we, we got some uh, some depressing some depressing news. I guess not really today. Actually, I, I think this came out a few days ago, but this is just coming from uh, I think Laura Kate Dale also decided to report on it again, just give us some extra information. So I think you guys remember that the, the big meltdown that we had a few days ago when everyone found out, oh, and we Rogers said that Zelda's not going to be there day one on this on the Switch, right? Yeah, it's it's looking like it's not going to happen, guys, because Laura Kate Dale. Uh, another individual who's just as uh, credible as as Emily Rogers, as she uh, she wrote in her blog, I believe that um that the uh, Switch version of of Zelda will not be coming uh, in the launch month of March, which is highly disappointing. But she also said the Wii U version isn't going to be hitting the the launch window of March. So the whole game in general is just getting delayed, and I, that that is what's surprising to me. The fact that Zelda's gonna not gonna be on the Switch that totally sucked, and it's looking like it, it ain't happening. So I don't, I don't really take this as a rumor anymore. I'm taking this as facts, facts, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And the, but the fact that it's not coming to the the Wii U either, that's really I'm kind of concerned. About. I'm surprised that they don't have this thing ready for the Wii U at least. Like the Switch, okay, maybe that will take you know some extra time. But if it's not even ready on the Wii U yet, when on earth are we getting the Switch version? You know what I'm saying? Unless they're delaying the Switch version just because the Wii U version is not ready yet. But that wouldn't make any sense because I'm sure they started working on the Wii U version a lot earlier than the Switch version. So that wouldn't make any sense for them to delay the Switch version just because the Wii version isn't ready yet if the Switch was further along in development. So the Switch has to be further behind in development than the Wii U. And with that said, how much further behind is it than the Wii U? Like, how, when are we going to be getting this game? Now, there's a silver lining between this and, and some other information that she said. She said that the uh, the Switch, the different SKUs for, uh, for the Switch bundles are going to have Splatoon packaged in. She also said that it's going to be able to feature this one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, mode where you can fight people one-on-one -on -one and have you. Uh, it, it allows you to switch weapons out whenever you want in mid-game, which for me was really good. I hated that part of the game where you couldn't fucking switch weapons. 
LSU like left the lobby and went out of the game. That shit was stupid to me. I don't know why they didn't think of that sooner, but hey, they're adding it now, which is cool. I heard some extra uh, content was coming to the Mario Kart Switch game. I heard that was going to be around either at launch or a little while after launch. There's going to be some an improved battle system. There's going to be an improved. Um, it's going to be a lot more characters, all that good stuff. It's going to be great. So a lot more content for these games that we like. She also gave more information about the Mario game, which is pretty cool. She talked about the new Mario game that was showing off during the Switch's uh, reveal trailer. She said that should be there day one. It's going to be a playable demo in January for us to try out. So that's that's cool. I mean, okay, I, I guess it, no, now that I think about it, you know, Zelda not being there at launch because Mario will be there. That does make sense. It's, it's okay. Zelda arguably is one of Nintendo's best IPs. Okay. They're like their they're number one IP. It's arguably the number one IP. But as far as what's going to sell, like you got to think about it this way. Mario will definitely sell more than Zelda will. So I guess it would make sense for them to rush this Mario game instead of the Zelda game because Zelda will sell. Yes, but let's be honest. What's going to sell more a, a 64 style Mario game or an open world Zelda game? I, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like a Zelda game would, but I guess in Nintendo's mind, Mario would. That is their mascot. That, that, that he's he's always sold gangbusters. So I guess it does make sense that if Mario's gonna, if, if what Laura Kate is saying and 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 Mario is gonna be there at launch day one, then I guess it makes sense that Zelda's not gonna be there. But the fact that they're delaying the Wii version still has me concerned. So Mario will be there. That's cool. That'll be their giant big launch title game. Launching with a Mario game, huge success for Nintendo. And then launching a few months down the line with Zelda, that that's that's just gonna be great. It's gonna be great for them. But still, I would have preferred Zelda to come out first. I really was looking forward to the Zelda game. Just I guess I guess just because I've seen more of it and I'm just more ready for it. I guess we gotta wait to see some more of this of this Mario game that that they got for us. So, I guess that's fine. Now that I think about it, it makes more sense. Still a little bit disappointed, but you know, I take what we can get. I guess you know what I'm saying. So that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to talk to you guys about for today. I'm a little, I don't know. Like this is, it's good stuff. You know, it's great that third party games will be coming, or or will be at least be easier to port to the system than ever before. That that's really really good. It's just ugh, Zelda, man. Like I cannot. I can't picture not playing that game on the Switch day one. Like, when is this game going to come up? We really need to get some information about this game. I want to see this game on the Switch. I want to see how much better it is. Also, I really need to know when this game is coming out because I'm really getting, I'm getting antsy, man. I'm getting real antsy. And if it, hopefully, fingers crossed, very latest is a summer release. That would be great. I, I wouldn't mind a summer release. You know, I'll be out of school and I'll just have tons of time to just play games, stream, record, just have fun. That would be great, but you know, I, we need some confirmation, dude. So hopefully we get some of that in January. Looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching all the new subs that we've been getting. It's been awesome, guys. Thanks for all the comments and all the previous videos. You guys are awesome. It's always great talking to you guys. So please leave a comment if you guys have anything to say and want anything you want to let me know. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.